again, this is for something new to give yourself a refresh. If you're stuck or if you feel like you're in a rut or if you feel you've been extra anxious or if you start to feel depressed, it's just a little jump start to put you moving in the right direction. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is step three, part three, month three, however you want to look at it for my four step program. And I will be sure to link all the other parts above, but step three, I wonder if anybody is doing step one, two. So I hope you made it to step three. Step one, I will remind you, is doing your affirmations every day. Step two is doing your affirmations every day and your workout or your activity. And step three is, bum -ba -da -dum, is starting with four different or new or healthy recipes, one per week. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so for the next month, for August, you will continue to do step one and two. So step number three is all about having different meals and a different variety of things. So you will have one new meal a week. So by the end of the month, you'll have four new meals. And I also added snacks on here too. So one new meal and one new snack per week. And then the bonus is either cut out your sodas or cut out caffeine and split it in half. Cut your intake in half. For, I think it was the month of April, I did no caffeine, no coffee, no soda, no black teas. I did nothing for the whole entire month but water and lemonade and milk. <laughs> and that was it. It was a struggle, but I did it. I'm here, I survived. Did I miss my coffee? Yes. But did I do it? Yes, that was my goal. I intended it to be that way for a reason. And the reason I put this bonus in here for um, cutting your caffeine intake in half is because I read that the average person will have six to eight cups of caffeine per day. And that caffeine could come in all different sorts, whether it's coffee, whether it's soda, whether it's tea, whether it's a Dunkin' Donuts refresher. Mm. You would be surprised at how many drinks have caffeine in it. So whether it's like two sodas, a coffee and a tea, you know, something like that, you would, you would be surprised. You got to check what you're drinking, right? The reason people say drinking water is important on a day-to-day -day basis is because it's hydration. Like it's, it's a reason why people say that. Drink water, drink water. It sounds so cheesy, but it works. It really does. But again, that's just the bonus. And I can hopefully link some recipes below, but I'm personally going to choose new. I want it to be something I haven't done yet. So I'm hoping I can do this. I also, I also have a husband and two four-year-olds to kind of keep in mind, but they are not picky eaters. So I tried my best to give them different varieties for that reason. So we shall see how it goes. And again, I am a month ahead of you guys, so for the whole month of July is when I'm doing this challenge, but I'm pretty excited for it. And let me know if you guys did this. I want to see if anyone is doing my four-step program, and please give me feedback. I want to hear all the feedback, criticism, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, it's feedback, and let me know how you did if you participated. All right, update. Okay, so the first meal was the vegetable chicken pasta. Delicious. I didn't get the ingredients though because I had forgotten. 
The next one was cheeseburger casserole and I wanted to have fun with this one for my kids essentially so that's why I chose this one. It was so basic but so good. It was delicious. We all ate it. We loved it. It was actually pretty good. <laughs> the next one, the third one, was the baked chicken parm. And see, now I start remembering to take a picture of the ingredients. So, win for me. And this one was pretty easy too. I just followed the instructions and it was like, I think under 30 minutes or about 30 minutes. And I tried to pick easy ones just because of the kids that I have. But there are plenty of recipes out there so you don't have to do what I did. And this last one, meal number four, was our favorite. It was the creamy Tuscan chicken. Oh my gosh, so good. Delicious. And this one, it was easy too, but it just took a little bit more effort. Okay, on to the snacks. The first two I saw on TikTok, so I did the zucchini bites. It's supposed to kind of mimic pizza a little bit, which I don't think it does, but they were delicious. They were amazing. And this whole finding new healthy recipes was actually really difficult for me because I've been trying to find recipes and I've been cooking. So to find a different one that I haven't already tried was difficult. But here's number three. Number two, I lied. <laughs> the pasta chips from TikTok, they would have came out so much better if I didn't cook so many and they kind of got like a little crispy, but they were so good. That needs more credit. And number three, I chose to do this juice individual packet because when I just want a smoothie for myself, I thought this would be easier. And this turned out way better than I thought it was going to be. So don't ever judge a book by its cover. Mm, it was so good. So yeah, as I said before, it was kind of difficult to find something new that I haven't already tried because this summer, especially this summer, I've been trying to step out of my comfort zone with cooking. So hopefully I can continue to do this and keep trying new stuff, especially stuff that's not chicken or beef related. I would just love that. And this last snack, don't underestimate it. It looks all weird but it's amazing. I just grabbed the turkey, the cheese, and I pick a salad dressing. And we like the Italian from Olive Garden. And I use lemon pepper, garlic powder, garlic salt, extra pepper, and add lettuce or spinach leaves if you have it. I'm telling you, it is the best snack in the world. It's amazing. Please go try it and let me know. So I hope future me did a good job <laughs> and hopefully the footage came out okay. And again, this is for something new to give yourself a refresh. If you're stuck or if you feel like you're in a rut or if you feel you've been extra anxious or if you start to feel depressed, it's just a little, just a little kickstart to put you moving in the right direction. Am I a doctor? No. Do I have a degree? No. But am I trying to help others focus on the goal ahead? Yes, that is what I'm trying to do. That is the goal. And again, this is for people who feel like they can participate in something and give themselves a refresh. <sighs> You, you would be surprised. Like, don't underestimate a good refresh, a good reset. Everybody needs that once in a while. So, yeah, stay tuned for step four, month four. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay. Okay, I think that was good. Oh yeah, let me insert this part. The average human, average human, <laughs> average person will have six to eight cups of coffee.
Let me take that out. <laughs> mm, and the awkwardness sets in. Whew. Okay. Continuing with, oh, continuing. <laughs> and you will start with healthy meal or different meal number one. Pick out a new recipe. Oh, scratch that. Oh. I'm a part of a family. <laughs> I am also a part of a family. What sense does that make? So, hope that worked. I hope that worked. Um, okay, so, yeah, I think that's it. And, ooh, that only took 10 minutes, baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Throat baby, throat baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, bye.